How you doing? Back in the summer house and look, it's pretty much finished. The only things I've got left now is the floor and the architrave and the skirting. This video, I just wanted to give you a bit of an overview of what I use to do the electrics. So not really a how-to. If you want how-to, there are much better channels like um, Nick Bundy, Artisan Electrics, eFix and GSH, which was really good and where I picked up most of what I needed to do. So I did all of the first fix and the second fix actually, but the electrician came and he connected up the consumer unit in the workshop and he connected up the armor cable at that end to the house. And then he tested everything and certified it. So it's all good to go. So this is a little, just a little video to show you what I used and to show you what was easy and what was hard. Right, so let's show you some of this stuff. So these are down lights I used in the summer house. Lucheco, fire rated, and they do three color temperatures, 3,000, 4,000, 6,500, by just switching on and off quickly at the switch. They're compact, so that fitted nicely between the bottom of the um, insulated panels and the top of the plasterboard and still left a bit of a gap. They're push fit as well. So that's really easy. They're marked neutral earth live, neutral earth live. So you literally just, you got you coming in to this light and you've got going out to the next light. Make sure you obviously get in neutral earth live. But obviously all this stuff, if you're not confident with electrics, get an electrician. Um, so that's those down lighters. On the outside, in the soffit lights, I use these. I've had these on the front of my house for a few years. And they're really good. Collingwood H2 Pro Extreme. These are not push fit. So here I use these. Wagos. And these are the 224 Wagos. So for these, you're obviously connecting up Neutral Earth Live. And you're going to go, so let's say you're doing the neutral. These have two push fit on one side. And they're just pushing like that. Like that, and then you have your earth on another one and your live on another one. Then I put those into a junction box like this. And then the other side, the light comes out the other side and on the other side, they are, they've got a lever. So the other side takes stranded or, um, you know, solid. So I always push those two in sub first and then the one that pushes down. You can actually take them out by twisting and pulling. Like I used these 2 to 1 connectors a few times in the uh, some of the light switches where I need to connect earth, Earths or CPCs or neutrals. All the Wago connectors have got on the side. How far back you need to trim the um, insulator, so that's 11 mil. The insulator sleeve, so you cut it to 11 mil. You can actually see it's connected inside. I've also, for the lights, used these. These are 2273s because these are push fit. Again, it's 11 mil. And then where I've needed these is where I've used these. Um, Wi-Fi switches. So this is a smart switch, smart dimmer switch. But the problem is these are tiny. So you can hardly get in. You can hardly get in one 
let alone if you're trying to double over. So what I've done here in the switch is I've got my, my feed coming in, my feed to the switch and my feed to the next one into a connector and I can take a single out into here and I can do that with the neutral and with the um, earth and then I can, I can get two in there and one out to the actual switch. So that's that. So where you go 2273s are useful. These 224s were useful. These I used as well. What else did I use? Um, I used this. So anytime I completed a circuit, I got the ends of it and made sure there was Everything was connected by doing a resistance check. What else do I use? This. Strip out the wires. Very useful. And obviously, wire cutters. But, as I say, unless you are know what you're doing, then get someone else to do it. Right, that's that. I hope some of it's useful. Oh, sockets, I use these. Just because they're really easy. So they've got flip um, terminals. So you lift up these levers, put your connectors in, close down the levers. That's it, done. Um, there you go, as I say, although I did it myself, I took my time, did it very carefully, and tested what I could test as I went along. And then the electrician came, checked everything, and certified it. So we're good to go. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.